Welcome back to Take Time for Torah. This week is Parshat to Naso, the second portion of the book of Bamidbar, of the book of Numbers. It's a continuation of the census that was begun last week, and one of the key pieces that's found in this week's Torah portion is, of course, Birkat Kohanim. The Kohanim, the priests, would go out and bless the entire Israelite community, um, certainly on specific holidays, but certainly this blessing has now been used in many contexts. Traditionally, Friday nights, we recite the Birkat Kohanim to our children, asking God to watch over them and to bless them, that God's face should shine upon them, and that God's faith, graciousness be upon them and they and be granted peace. This blessing is more than just the Birkat Kohanim. This is a blessing that is threefold that should give us blessings of spirit, blessings of, of faith, and blessings of material wealth. You see, it's not a bad thing to, for Jews to pray for material wealth and to find comfort. You see, as we pray for wealth and we gain wealth, we also give back. The more that we gain, the more we should give. And this is a way in which we help the world and complete the world of tikkun olam. But I do want to ask you this week to focus instead, or in addition, on the last sphira of the seventh sphira, which I talked about a few weeks ago. The last sphira is mahut, or kingship. And this sphira sort of brings together and bridges that gap between the heavens and the earth, between what God is and what we as humans are. And as such, it is the most earthly of all seven spherot. It, it provides us this opportunity to be in both places, both up above and down below. The midah that goes along with mahut is shmirat halashon, uh, the watching of one's language, or thinking about one's language. And in terms of watching one's language, it becomes most important. If we want the blessings in life, then we have to speak and be nice and be menchim to others. In a sense, we live in this incredible world of ambiguity, moral ambiguity, physical ambiguity. We're not sure which way we should go to complete our missions in life or to take care of the tasks we are. And sometimes in this world of ambiguity, there may be one more than one right answer and more than one wrong answer. And sometimes there's no answer at all. So I'd like to invite you to try something in, in this week. This week is the Midah of Shmirat HaLashon, watching one's language. I remember uh, sometimes teaching in classrooms that when a, when a child would say a bad word, we would get to the point, and would continually do it, we'd get to a point where we'd ask anyone who says a bad word that they would give a quarter for tzedakah. And then at the end of the year, we allocated that tzedakah. So I'd like to invite you to try that. You see, at the end of the Amidah, we say, Elohai Netzur Lishoni Meira. May God keep our tongues from speaking evil. Well, it's not just God's who's responsible. We're responsible for, for being mindful about what we say about others and to others. That's why I began with the blessings. We bless others with wealth and health and prosperity. But if we get into this place where we are committing Loshon Hara, speaking evil language, how do we change our behavior? Some people can just stop cold turkey. Others need an incentive. So here's the pula, here's the activity I would encourage you to try for the next week. Every time you say a bad word, make a donation to tzedakah. But don't make it a quarter. Make it five dollars. Make it one dollar. Something that's significant that will make you stop and think and say, wait a minute, did I just say that word? And if I did, I'm making a donation to tzedakah of a dollar or five dollars or more to remind me, to train me that I should not say such things. Same thing when you gossip or when you say something evil about someone else. Make a donation to tzedakah and perhaps you will find that as you are making that donation you become more mindful of what you say and how you say it to others. We began with blessings, asking God to watch over us. We began with asking God's face to be upon us and to grant us peace. So my prayer this week is that all of us will have an opportunity to work on our language. How is it that we bless others? How is it that we find the best in others? And how is it that we help others and ourselves find peace? You see, that's what we're looking for.
shleimut, wholeness, peace for ourselves and peace for our community. One of the ways to do that is to refrain from Loshon Hara, um, gossip and evil speech. Shabbat Shalom. I invite you to uh, join us on Tuesday night for our Tikkun Leil Shavuot. Call the office for details, and I'll see you in two weeks after Shavuot. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.